the constitution or is it just about those implementing it? I am one of those and I am still saying it that the system of governance in this country is wrong, totally wrong. Because it has given powers to very few people and they have misused the powers. When you make a chief executive of a state, the controller of the you know, finances, how you distribute privileges, how you distribute this, how you do that, all powers are vested in him. If you are not with him, you are his enemy. If you criticize him, you are his enemy. It is the system of governance and it is the constitution. But other, other countries too have uh, the kind of democracy that we do have, but why is it that that doesn't seem to be the same thing with ours? Do you think we have a democracy? We don't have a democracy in Nigeria. Don't deceive yourself. What so do we, we have? have? There is no democracy. <laughs> We have a civilian government. We are governed by civilians. It's either military governance or civilian government. It is not a democracy. Did you vote for corruption to, to be on the ascendancy? Did you vote for armed robbery to be on the ascendancy? But these are things that have been happening from 1990s. Democracy is the strengthening of the system of governance. That is, democ democracy is not the voting that I have a right to vote. I go, no. Democracy is the you know, strengthening of the system of governance that make up a democratic situation. The parliament, the police, the waterways, the custom, you strengthen. Those are the system of democracy. You have to strengthen them. We have not strengthened anything. So does that mean that we, we can't get the kind of results we want in terms of this anti graft war as our system is presently constituted? We can't get it because the system breeds corruption. You see, no matter how hard, and I give kudos now, I was one of the greatest uh, critics of uh, Magu, but I give him credit today. You are seeing his trying, despite and in spite of the odds against him. But when the system itself is the one breeding the corruption, as you are fighting it here, something is breeding it. You know what you're about? Oh, don't bother you. That is zero upon zero is zero. Because as you are fighting corruption at the top, the system you are using is also breeding that corruption. So that, that forms the basis. So it saying, it's a continuous that, basis. That the treaty, we, we really don't need it. But if, if you say we don't, don't really need that treaty, and looking at uh, the antecedents of the kinds of looted funds or looted property out of this country, and uh, some are saying that uh, the most of it is stashed in the United Arab Emirates, how then do you see this treaty playing a crucial role in helping to recover some of those monies, if not all of them, and then bring the people who have perpetrated this crime to, 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 to go to book. Okay, let me assure you one thing. No foreign government will release any looted money, so-called looted money, without a conviction here. Yeah. That money must be proved to have been, you know, gotten illegally. And for you to be able to establish that, it's not just government writing, oh, this man looted. You must have evidence. How many cases have we been able to complete here? How many cases? Right. Let us look at the Buhari regime itself. How many cases have we been able to complete? It's because the system, which is corrupt, is debarring the same system from getting results to enable you to take advantage of the treaty. So are they right when they talk about corruption in the judiciary? Look. Let me be bold to say, there is corruption in the judiciary. I'm a senior advocate of Nigeria. I can't hide from that fact. Three weeks ago, the top hierarchy in the judiciary said, oh, the percentage allotted to judiciary, this in 33% are corrupt, it's not so. But they did acknowledge that there is corruption. There is corruption. You see, and this state of corruption in the judiciary came in in 1999, when politicians came, 
pray to the judiciary to be getting judgments. Of course, there was plenty of money. Of course, the judges are human beings. Of course, the politicians will go to the judges' houses in the night. The judges have brothers. They have wives. They have cousins whom they can talk to. So the judiciary is corrupt. Let us agree. But they've always had those brothers, relatives. What was different in 1999? Why couldn't they resist? What was different in 1999 is that there was too much money in the hands of politicians due to the system of governance. When a governor is controlling about six billion called security votes, which is money, it's not his father's money, it's not his mother's money. He's not going to account for that money. And he has six billion in hand. He's ready to throw them around, knowing fully well that the next appropriation comes in, he gets that six billion. So there was too much money in the system, in the hands of politicians, who now, to retain power at all costs, spend this money.